Firstly, here is a quick explanation of the game and what it's about. Until Dawn is basically an interactive horror movie. You control a group of friends stuck in a snowy mountain cabin and anyone can die based on your choices. It is not heavy on gameplay, mostly walking around, making decisions and quick time events. But even though you are not doing much, the game still keeps you tense because you know your choices matter. Until Dawn mixes all different types of horror, from teen slasher stuff to more psychological scares. You can find these totems that give you glimpses of possible futures to help with decisions. There are five types of totems, which are the death totem. This one foretells a possible death of the character who found the totem. A danger totem foretells a dangerous situation. The lost totem foreshadows the possible death of a character other than the player's current character. Then there is the guidance totem that shows choices the character can make in the future and the fortune totem that shows possible fortunate outcomes for characters. Now in addition to these five totems, they introduce a sixth totem called hunger totem. Officially it is not known what these do, but there are some leaks going around, so you can check those out if you have to know before release. The whole thing takes about 8 hours to complete, but it has good replayability due to the many different outcomes. Now for the remake there is actually lots of stuff that changed. Unfortunately, not necessarily just for the better, starting with what I perceived as a negative, or at least underwhelming. That's actually the soundtrack. It's not bad, but the original soundtrack back then was a banger. And while the new one isn't outright bad, this honestly feels like an unnecessary downgrade. Now aside from the change to Unreal Engine 5, the characters this time also show visible wounds and injuries, which is pretty neat. There is now a free look third person camera alongside the original fixed camera angles. Now let me be clear on this, the game still uses the old fixed camera angles at certain moments, but the majority of the gameplay will now be done in this new third person perspective and it is not up to you which one is applied. This can be more immersive, but can also negatively affect some moments, as the developers back then purposely created tense moments just for these fixed camera angles. Pretty rare for a remake is that they actually reworked the entire prologue to provide more backstory and there are some new errors to explore. It's also worth mentioning that the remake relocated all the totems in different places. Of course the game has ray tracing and support for ultra wide monitors as well as DLSS 3. All the stuff you expect from a AAA port. And yes you need a PlayStation Network account on PC. Once again locking so many people out from playing this due to the PlayStation Network restrictions. They have added more accessibility features and an optional alternative for the don't move mechanic called stay calm. This one is for third party peripherals. And that sentence concludes today's video. If your time was respected, a like or comment is very much appreciated.